Ladies and gentlemen, her. Okay, let's jump right into this. You guys already seen the thumbnail, so I know y'all wanna get the deets on this. Today's video is sponsored by Best Lakes Wig, and this is the unit I'm gonna be reviewing today. This is an HD Lace Body Wave wig in about 20 inches. I think it's 20 inches. If not, I'm gonna put it across the screen. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this unit on y'all. You can already see how HD this lace is. It is almost invisible. This is real HD. This is their new clean hairline. It comes with six inches part in and the knots on the units are small and they do come bleached. So let's get ready to prepare and install this unit. I'm just kind of checking out this hairline and making sure the part in is in the middle. For some reason, I'll be having trouble lining up my units. <laughs> A lot of times I'll be installing these units and that part in be supposed to be in the middle and it be on the side. Once I have the unit lined up correctly, at first I started to cut the lace off, but then I thought about it and I decided, let me do it the other way first. So I'm gonna take some of my alcohol and just clean up my skin. You wanna make sure that your skin is clean whenever you're using any type of adhesive or anything and laying down this unit, this is gonna help ensure that you have a clean install. Plus the makeup contains oils that makes it easy for the unit to lift and not get the maximum hold. Now I am using Boho Liquid Gold, even though I'm seeing adhesive, this is more like a glueless type of adhesive. It easily washes off with water if you haven't used it before. Then I'm just going to lay this unit right on top of that Boho Liquid Gold and I'm, I'm gonna start combing it using the base of the comb to slightly press it down while I'm combing it. And when I do this, this in turn helps ensure that the lace melts in with the skin. By now y'all know the usual order. You wanna tie it down for five to 10 minutes to create the melt. Now I'm creating a side part because this unit I decided I was gonna put in a side part. Team side part, if you team side part, go ahead and hashtag team side part in the comment section. <laughs> so anyway, I made a um, side part and I wanted to do like the little baby hair on the side and a little swoop for the sideburns. And I'm just combing the hair in a downward back motion until it's nice and sleek. So I cut out the hair that I allocated for the baby hair and I tied that down for about five, about five, 10 minutes as well to assist with helping the lace melt. Now I'm going on top of that with my hot comb and I'm just combing through the hair because this requires everything to be really nice and sleek. Next, I am going in with my scissors and with a jagged motion, I'm just taking the remainder of that lace off and I'm trying to get as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the actual hair because the less lace you have remaining on the wig is the less weight lace is the less lace. Boy, that's a tongue twister. The less lace you're going to have to worry about camouflage it. I straightened the section that I allocated for the baby hairs. I experimented cutting the baby hairs from the opposite angle than I normally do. With my small flat iron, I'm curling up the baby hairs because you guys should know by now that that is the easiest way to get your baby hairs to lay. Now, I didn't cut the sideburn slash baby hairs as short as I would have liked because I'm still not sure if I'm gonna sell this on my website. If I was definitely going to keep it, I would have cut it just a little bit shorter. I wanted to leave it up to the purchaser to cut the baby hairs to their liking and not mine. Do you guys like your baby hairs long or short? Comment below and let me know. 
Next, you want to take your time and lay those sideburns and baby hair down. I am using some of my extreme styling gel to lay down the baby hairs and the sideburn. This gel really gives me a maximum hold. Next, I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm going along the perimeter of the hairline just to continue to melt the hair in with the skin. And you wanna make sure that you take that hot comb along the top of the unit as well because a flat unit is necessary. If you've been on my channel, you already know I preach this all the time. Flat on top is necessary to prevent that wiggish look. So this is a body wave unit. I wasn't really sure how I was going to style it. So I'm just combing it out right now. And I decided to add some light layers and I'm using this razor comb. It makes cut and layers so easy. It's literally like combing your hair, but it's actually cutting it off. And the razor on this particular razor comb is extremely sharp. So you wanna take your time if you use it. So I decided I was just gonna add some light curls. I didn't wanna make it too curly because I was kind of feeling that body wave look, but it wasn't enough curls in the front. I prefer to have a lot of curls in the front to help frame my face. So I went in with the flat iron to throw some curls in it. I'm curling it backwards and away from my face. I'm letting it sit for about 10 seconds before releasing it and letting it cool in my hands to help maintain the curl. Curling your hair backwards gives it that nice loose curl flow that we like and it makes it easy to manipulate the curls with your hands for styling. And with it being cut, it's going to help frame my face a lot more than if I would have just left it straight without adding in those layers. But again, this is just my personal preference. I personally believe layered hair curls and looks a lot better. Even if it's a, it's a small amount of layers, I just really noticed the difference when I add layers to my unit. I'm just going in with my blending brush, adding foundation to my forehead because I typically when, even though I have makeup on my face, I typically leave my forehead without foundation because of the reasons that I provide earlier. You know, you don't really want to get that makeup mixed in with any of that adhesive. And I'm adding some concealer to the parting space. And one thing I like to do is also take that little small blending brush and take that concealer and comb it along the front of the hairline just to create those natural gaps that naturally occur with your hair. Now I'm gonna turn around really quickly just so you guys can see how the back of this hair look. And as you guys can see, it has body, it has density. It's a nice density. I'm actually really considering keeping this unit. I really like the way this install turned out. You guys know I'm not really big on baby hair, but I'm really digging this little baby hair swoop in the front. This is about to be my go-to. So be prepared, you're gonna see a lot more of this. If you guys join my live, this is the unit I was wearing when Mr. Fine walked in. If you know, you know. <laughs> but guys, if you are interested in purchasing this unit, I'm going to have everything linked in the description box down below. But before we get out of here, I'm going to need your help naming this unit. What do you think we should call her? Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed in my last video. The new name as well as the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen. So dolls, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, hit that subscribe button and join the family. With family here, you're not just a subscriber. And while you're at it, go check out my other channel, Being Faithfully Asia. And guys, as always, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.